Keith is going to go ahead and show us some of the highlights of the uh, beautiful uh, helicycle turbine powered uh, single seat uh, helicopter. We're uh, turbine powered. This is a solar T6232, uh, 160 horse uh, uh, engine that we've derated to 100 horse for this uh, ship. Uh, we have our own, uh, our own transmission, uh, which is our own design and manufacture, uh, reduction gearbox, 21 gallons of fuel. And, and what kind of uh, duration will that give you? Uh, that'll give you about an hour and a half duration. Uh, okay. So um, you're burning 13 gallons an hour. Okay. The cockpit that's in this ship here is uh, we didn't Mock quite up. finish. Yeah. We didn't quite finish the ship, so those are just to fill the holes. Yeah. But uh, um, in the kit, uh, the owner is going to uh, basically provide their own instruments and mm -hmm. radios. Okay. Uh, so. That's, that's pretty much their own design. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of flat panels end up in, in here, so okay. not too many round panels. Okay, and I guess that keeps it a little bit lighter keeps and everything. It a little bit lighter, so. makes the, the panel layout actually quite a bit more simple. I recommend people go out and, and get a, a solo endorsement in an mm -hmm. R22. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to hop into this thing, and uh, the transition will take them about two feet mm -hmm. in 15 seconds. We do have a check pilot program. Um, that is part of our uh, kit construction. Uh, when you've finished uh, building your kit, our check pilot comes out, goes through the ship, uh, makes sure it's rigged correctly, mm -hmm. and does the setup on the engine, track and balance on the rotors, and then he's going to actually fly it for the first two hours. Hello, this is Brian Purdy with the Florida Aviation Network. Today we're again at Air Adventure 2021 in the helicopter and light uh, ultralight area we're going to talk with Keith Southland mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Helicycle Ventures uh, a great little single place turbine powered aircraft that is going to be really fun to drive thank you Keith for uh, spending the time with us here today um, glad, looking glad, forward you could, to, glad to be here glad to be here um, I understand this is your first year here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, so uh, this is uh, this is my my first time ever to oh. uh, even to Air Venture, and uh, we just never quite made it yeah. uh, here. And uh, uh, my wife and I we acquired uh, uh, the Helicycle Company two years ago, mm -hmm. and so for us this is really a, a coming out party, if you will, oh, okay. after having uh, done a lot of retooling and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in uh, relaunching of the company. And I think you said before you actually bought one of these before you bought the company. Yeah, so, so I was a customer before I was uh, before I bought it. So. Well, that's a, that is the great way to do it. You know what you're getting into and you know what, mm -hmm. what it can be done with. Okay, great. Um, it looks like you're getting tons of uh, traffic uh, on your uh, aircraft. Any surprises? Uh, I think probably the biggest surprise is how much interest uh, there has been in it and um, uh, the show has been absolutely fabulous for us on one hand and exhausting on the other. Um, uh, there's a big storm that rolled here through yeah. last night as, or uh, two nights ago as you know, night before last. And so we took all the booth apart, um, uh, took the rotor blades off the ship, took the tail off the ship, got it all covered up and pushed it up right against the motorhome. And at seven o'clock in the morning, the, the very next morning, my wife looks out the window and we've got a crowd around the thing and the booth isn't even set up yet. And it's pretty much been like that uh, every day. Yes. Um, we're killing a lot of grass over here around the ship. It'll grow back. <laughs> that is great, that is great. We'd always like to see things that fly do well. Yeah. And uh, the helicopter is one of the best ways to fly if you're, you wanna, see things rather than having things go by right. uh, too fast so um, I'm both a fixed wing pilot I started uh, I started off as a fixed wing pilot added the rotor craft rating uh, later and uh, so I've been flying helicopters now for about 10 years mm. and uh, in all that time we've met we've been met with an awful lot of uh, uh, great people great flyers old flyers and, and I can tell you, even if someone hasn't been flying for 10 or 20 years or 30 years, mm -hmm. uh, every time a chopper goes over, you know, they're, they're looking at the yeah. sky. And uh, once it's in your blood, yeah. you're, it's in there forever. Yeah, I, I'm in withdrawal right now, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, great. Um, let's see, it's you and your wife, your daughter's somewhere. 
uh, uh, anything else you'd like to uh, talk about the, uh, the safety aspects the uh, sure yeah. so the uh, uh, the ship is uh, being turbine powered the engine is absolutely uh, you know almost bulletproof uh, as long as it's got fuel it's running uh, great uh, great safety record on the ship itself uh, as part of the kit construction uh, we have a factory checkout program and that fact uh, once you finish building your ship uh, we send one of our uh, factory check check pilots who not only is a pilot and uh, flies these uh, helicycles regularly but he's also been certified on the construction and uh, uh, and setup of them once you're finished He's going to go through the ship from one end to the other. He's going to spend three to five days with you, mm -hmm. uh, making sure the ship is rigged properly, set up properly, and then he's actually going to do the first flight in it. Okay. And uh, and and we do that just to make sure that the the ship is set up correctly and is safe for the for the owner. Um, we've never had a first flight um crash or failure mm -hmm. or anything else of that any anything else even rem mm -hmm. closely resembling that okay. uh, just because we're so careful uh, okay. to make sure that it's all set correctly okay. um it's being a home build i'm guessing it still has the 40 hour fly off that has to be done yes it, it has uh the phase one uh, is it still has the 40 hour phase okay. one requirement now I, I haven't i'm i'm sorry i haven't looked do you have to be licensed in it to be able to do that fly off or can you still be okay? I've cleared to solo, but uh, not yeah. to fully yes. licensed. Yes, you can. Uh, it does require um, uh, a real helicopter rating. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a. Uh, this is not. There's no such thing as light sport in helicopters. Yeah. So you've got to have a license and a, with a helicopter rating. Uh, or uh, before you get to that point, if you are still a student, mm -hmm. then uh, and you have a solo endorsement, then then you can fly uh, and continue to fly that. I actually started my phase one with just a solo endorsement. Okay. I hadn't yet finished my rating. Okay, but you can do that rather than having to wait until you got the, yeah. the full thing. Right. Okay, that was I, part of I, your learnings there. I started building my my ship and uh, my rotorcraft rating at the same time. Right. And the ship was done before I was. Oh wow! So, uh, <laughs> so I actually got my rating a few months after my ship was okay. had started flying. Okay, great, great. Yeah, because that's always a, a big concern about uh, home build. Okay, we gotta get that forty hours in. And if it's a brand new design, especially or a single seat like this, it's like okay, how do I do that? Right. Without having somebody else do it. Right. And uh, and, and I. And again, the uh, I mean that the. Uh, check pilot program is there to uh, to help you as a new owner both not only making sure that the ship is safe and, and built correctly but also um, uh, to help you transition mm -hmm. because starting a turbine engine is different than yes. starting a, a piston engine a lot more expensive and mm -hmm. uh, um, and uh, so he's gonna he's gonna make sure that you're well trained in okay. in, in that uh, in that process okay, okay. good 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 so. Simple things like starting the engine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had some time in a uh, an easier uh, jet ranger. Okay. And it's like, yeah, the instructor has his thumb over my thumb to make sure I didn't let loose too soon. Right. So. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, great. Great. Well, this is a beautiful day here at Oshkosh. Hopefully, you can make it down to Sun and Fun one of these days. We'd love to see it. We're talking with other people. Maybe we can get the helicopters flying again and yeah. show them off. Get it a little bit more of a main stage area mm -hmm. so because uh, with all the uh, personal you know air vehicles coming out this was the first one right. so absolutely as it was okay. we'd love to see you there love you to see you there too thank you very much keith brian thank brian, you for uh thank you for coming by my pleasure my pleasure and once again this is brian purdy with the florida aviation network live and in the clear from air adventure 2021 in oshkosh wisconsin